Luca Guadagnino's all-new psychological horror film, we meet Timothy Chalamet's Lee and Taylor Russell's Marin as they join each other on a journey to find their place in the world with a couple of gory details. We are on the scene right now at the New York Film Fest premiere of Bones and All with Taylor Russell, director Luca Guadagnino, and so many incredible people. Great, how are you? Doing yeah. well, thank you. Now, Taylor and Timothy are incredible actors, and, Lu and Lee and Marin, they're very dynamic characters, to say the least. What about them did you know that they were perfect for these roles? Well, I, I, of course, Timothy, I knew him very well, and I, and I, and I, and I saw his trajectory be of becoming a, a young man, which was beautiful. And I knew I wanted to see him again in a role in front of my camera. And Taylor, I admire him in waves. So it's an intu intuitive thing. I, I knew there was something great there, and I knew that there was something great between the two together on screen. Absolutely. Now, at the Venice Film Festival, you talked a bit about an idea you had for a version of Call Me By Your Name centered around Elio and his development and his life. Do you think that's something we can see in the future, and what do you think it would look like? I hope to be able to manage to bring to life all the stories I have in my mind. Character Marin, she is going on, obviously this movie has a lot of components to it, but at the very core it's a girl going on a journey and trying to find a place where she belongs. How would you describe Marin in your own words in this journey that she goes on? How would I describe Marin? Um, I think she's a girl who feels like she's an outsider and doesn't understand necessarily what's wrong with her, why she doesn't belong, um, why she can't make friends, why you know she doesn't feel parental love in the way that she suspects one should, and um, and uh, and she's you know asking all these questions while also <laughs> going through the journey between teenagehood to adulthood and. Um, I think it's a very precious time, and it's also a story of first love. I absolutely love it. Luca describes your performance as transformative, and it's powerful, and it's delicate, and it's fragile. Um, you are amazing. This is a very heavy role to play, but you do it with so much grace and tranquility. What was the process like in getting into this role? I had a lot of months to prepare. I found out about I found out about well Luca asked me to do it maybe six months prior to us filming it or seven, so I had a lot of time with her and um, I could ease my way into it. Um, I spent a lot of time in nature. I get a lot of answers there, um, and then you know a lot of poetry. I learned to play the song on piano for the the role, even though you don't really see it in the final cut of the movie. But I I spent a lot of time doing that. Um, this beautiful song called Swan of Tuanella. Um, so many different things, but all very kind of, I don't know, nature-centric things. I absolutely love it. You have so many exciting things coming up. What do you want viewers to know about you, about Taylor, as they're seeing this movie and talking about it? God, I don't know if I want people to know things about me, because that would be a little bit vain, but um, I uh, would love people to go see the movie if they want to see a love story and to feel like hopefully seen in some way. Yeah. You deserve to be vain. You're incredible. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, Taylor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Beth. Have a good night. So you play Janelle in this very intense psychological horror film that's sort of given a new meaning to coming of age. Tell me a bit about your character and what we can expect to see from her on screen. Um, well, the, the movie's a bit of a road movie. The Taylor's character is in, in, on a quest to search for her mother who I play, who I don't want to give anything away, but she eventually finds her and has a real reckoning. And um, so it's, it's kind of a, yeah, uh, a spoiler, but sorry. It's okay. <laughs> no worries at all. Um, speaking of Taylor, how was that dynamic like playing her mother? What was oh, that dynamic like between so you She was so sweet. She was very generous. Like, I came in towards the end of the shoot, and she was very, like, in it, very in her character. And in with the crew and the cast and like it, she was just very generous and gracious and a lovely girl to be around. I absolutely love it. This movie has so many deeper meanings within it. How would you describe it in your own words? What would you say that real meaning of it is? I, know, I think it's a lot about feeling isolated and lonely and finding people that you can relate to and find comfort in and and also p finding people that can kind of help steer you and guide you toward, you know, through difficult periods in your life. So, yeah. Absolutely. True coming of age. I love it. Thank you Thank so you. much. Good. How are you? Good. This film is incredible. It's intense. It's psychological. It's terrifying. Tell me a little bit about your character and what we can expect to see from him on screen. So my character is a guy who works at a carnival who Lee and Marin sort of pass on their travels. And uh, without giving too much away, they meet and have a connection. And we'll see what happens next. 
I love it. Now this film is not your typical coming of age. It's quite gory. What about it did you find to be most challenging? I thought it was really beautiful that there was a script that was so humane about such an interesting and, and horrifying topic. And I find the humanity and the darkness really, that's what drew me to it. Yeah. I love it. Thank you so much.